we all need to change our plan. All the plans that we are seeing right now, this is the way I will save, I will retire. In this date, I'm going to take my this saving account and then I will travel here. I will move to the house of my daughter in this country, that way. You did not learn from 2020 when Saturn and Pluto met. What a plan that shifted generally. And only those that really um, put uh, their skin in a game in a very risky, they took a very big risk, uh, could gain from such a place. Those that didn't take risk <laughs> become the most afraid people that covered their face and always had a fear to get a fine, to get arrested and all those things. And the message in sky was break the law, do your own plan, plan ahead. Now, I'm recording this video February 3rd, 2023. And yesterday was very, the 2-2 was a very odd day for me. I believe that happened in the last 24, 80, 48 hours. Very hard time for a lot of people. Um, with the intensity of astrology of what I had, I had the personal sort of accident um, that I shared with my community. Um, but yeah, we are really needing in this month of February, all planets moving direct, not just to take a risk now, is about being liquidated, flexible in such a way that you are ready to change your plan at any way, any moment, very quick. We are packing, let's go there. We are packing, let's go to Australia. We are packing, let's go in this level. Mercury is going to meet Pluto uh, in the last time of our lifetime in Capricorn, because Pluto already uh, going to move Aquarius um, next next month. It will come back to the last degree of Capricorn for the next month, but it will not meet any any more uh, Mercury until next year. That this will happen in Aquarius. So it's important to remember that Mercury started the retrograde in January, what flipped the market from everybody expecting that the system is sinking, everything is going to the, not to zero, but to, and everybody shorted, that is the shift. Pluto is speaking about change, and Mercury is speaking about polarization. It's the bipolar concept of, 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 a, of a Mercury, two antennas. So, uh, now they are going to meet. This is the conjunction. And Mercury will move first to Aquarius and one month after Pluto will move to Aquarius. Imagine Capricorn is the plan, is the infrastructure, is the destiny of our life, is the bonds. And this is what remain after our death. Okay, Pluto is ruling death and it's in the sign of Capricorn. Pluto ingress to Capricorn in 2008. And it's be began with a big financial crisis, three banks bankrupted. And actually, a lot of people, a, b a huge generation from the 70s and beginning of 80s with Pluto in uh, Libra, needed to pay a big karma related to relationships and wealth. I had it personally as well. This is, we are the generation that started extending the single lifestyle because being married just because by the book and by the church isn't the, the evolutionary uh, direction. And also Pluto in Capricorn 
Every, everyone with a Pluto as well, uh, in each, uh, every generation, needed to pay a karma related to this degree. Those with Pluto in Virgo are considered the old people of the uh, population, though they're born older than 60s, they're born in the 60s and before, were pretty much the first victims of the COVID as well, with the vaccination, uh, to keep them safe, right? Um, now it's going to end related to payment of dues and karma and also by the losses that some of us needed to experience. I sold my apartment in um, 2007 and the money that back then was purchasing much more things and the interest rate was high. I thought that why should I even rent? I just wanted to travel to start my new my new journey, finding my new skills that were bought from Israel, a one-way ticket to New York, and thought that this would be my first, but things changed and I entered to a relationship that was, that converted quickly to be a very bad relationship, an abusing relationship. So I paid the karma of Venus, of course, and finally lost all the money that I sold the apartment and I didn't do the trip I wanted in that way. Finally, I compensated for years after and started my nomadic lifestyle. We are paying karmas, we are paying dues of past life, of things that we've done. We didn't uh, live always like a good person. We also had phases that we needed to pay punishment for being bad, for harming others probably. And yeah, now Mercury, that is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. What is Gemini, what is Virgo? Gemini is communication, trade, information, fake news, right? Trade currencies. And Virgo, that is related to nutrition, health, and uh, routinary work, administration work that right now is about to be replaced by artificial intelligence. ChatGTP is going to fire a lot of programmers, editors, etc. A very good work for Virgo. What we will not be able to change is the humanistic side of Mercury. That is a true human communication with emotions and creativity and get updated quickly, being spontaneous and not robotic. And also the connection with Earth alimentation that you could not replace uh, for a long time uh, organic food with industrial food. Okay? Anyhow, all those things right now are going to change face and pace. This is Mercury encountering with the scary planet Pluto. It's like, ah, it's death, it's transformation. And we are going to become a new butterfly in a way that, you know, try to explain a caterpillar how is to be butterfly. He will never, he will never understand you. What is to be free? You know, it's like try to explain you how is to be angel. You don't want to die. You don't want to abandon the body. You want to continue being a caterpillar, limited. This kind of this uh, metaphors, metamorphosis and description of Mercury meeting Pluto. Now, it's happening every year, but this time, this month, on February 10th, is um, the last time in Capricorn. So, Mercury is also ruling the brain, and Pluto is the potency, and the polar, and the polarity, and I'm just reading this today. Uh, Poland is announcing something that even not has something important, maybe to all of us, but is using the title of uh, Brain Drain for rehiring a good brain of uh, professionals to be advanced in technology. So interesting, and I'm speaking about all about the brain. How we are going to, uh, to, to, to dominate and to remember ancestral information, even for medicine, the Virgo side of Mercury, that is including mushrooms and including psychedelic treatments that are much better and effective than pharmaceutical 
uh, antidepressant, etc., uh, pills that putting you zombie and creating so many damages in the organism, and also using extra higher communication that will lead us to telepathy. If you saw already the new avatar um, that I just saw last week, amazing in the cinema, and how they are communicating together with each other and also to increase the level of communication that we are all become lawyer. We all can stand and to react to express ourselves like a lawyer. ChatGTP just give us the beginning of its potency to do. So with all those technology shift and medical shift that seems that we are all afraid to be sick one day because the society and living in a city is very much putting you in a jail to get sick quickly, we are paying a very high um, social security payments. And all this fear, pension, what will happen when I will be old and sick and all those things. This is a big event that even would maybe hidden because in Pluto it's all hidden, that indicates maybe the end of what you considered to be a retirement program. And once you will arrive there, do you think you will get what your grandparent had or received any payment fee? It's everything going to transform and to displate by its value and the potency. So all the socialistic system and how to divide the responsibilities of the old and the weak and the rich and the poor, I believe that going to transform. We're going to blockchain society that will offer us much better abundance uh, uh, deviation it's very big noise with cutting the trees exactly when i'm speaking um, so this is going to be a shift and how you are planning on your future plan destination you are afraid to do the change because you could not leave a permanent work paying you for pension uh, for 30 years 20 years in 10 years you probably would not get what you think Maybe that is better investment to do, to be protected. And years ago, I was saying that value of two bits uh, in the real private key and the, on the blockchain and uh, not on exchange will be valuable to who consider to be with a very big savings uh, by the purchasing power it can give. And we don't need to buy big houses and to, exp to, to, to realize uh, it's about access going to be a group purchasing of buildings of access for for building communities it's not about random big uh, uh, company that is hiring clients whoever will put the money on the table and to take this this is a gradual change but the phase of how economy to be distributed is different on the same time in Davos they are speaking about taking extra control and digitalize everything and scanning everything in a way that they will control your diet they will control your medicine it's like a big brother concept how to control emotions of people what games to put us what uh, uh, social experiment to do on us in order for the viewers to be in high rating in a way and this is the question if you are real if you are ready to resign mercury in pluto and pluto is a moment of signing a contract and also there is gist there is history now it's also an invitation for firming that because it's the last time in capricorn i would guess that is related to breaking the contract of divorce of splitting direction because we are entering now to 14 years of mercury pluto in aquarius and it always will bring new societies and new communities and new technologies that all what seems to us the old way of doing things and filming here and the bureaucracy is passé, is not relevant anymore. It's hard for us to know. So we now can have some grief this week about the old war changed. It's not going to be the way we planned. Um, to do things even how to how, how to buy food is about this one 
Now, all the signs were on the wall and the universe is always with mercy to give us extra portals to interact with. Um, to interact with the, the entering energies. So, I believe that it's going to be a worldwide event, not event even, event, that is also related to travels and related to things that are coming from space and from whatever is above human control. This is the Aquarius realm. This also will give us options and solutions out of the blue that we haven't thought about it that maybe a little dust of i don't know dust uh, found in the desert of something has the mineral dna the science also will go to brand new direction we haven't thought in a very simple solutions too to complicated things but on the same time before we're speaking about saturn moving to pisces and uh, pluto moving to aquarius since uh, 1777 after the revolutionary war and uh, and even before this it happened in in 1530 uh, something uh, the colonization of america uh, the, the expansion of europe and the united states going to uh, yeah so this is another uh, phase of expansion and maybe start uh, colonizing deserts or even Mars or something like this regard it's going to be an expansion and a revolution of new lands that we haven't uh, considered to be interesting as well more new promised lands but right now Jupiter that is the ruler of Sagittarius is ready to meet in March with Chiron we are feeling it already coming in February so Jupiter and Chiron both are masculine senators and this is about uh, and because Jupiter is the is the opposite archetype of Mercury that is the ruler of Gemini and Sagittarius and Jupiter of Sagittarius and both are meeting with something painful Mercury with Pluto and Jupiter with Chiron so this is a world event that feels like a bomb or nuclear explosion in a way or a revelation of a, such a news that will change everything in a revolutionary way i see it overall good for human this time is all the tools we need take the arms in a way to free yourself from the matrix this is all about this and it's like crossing a river all planets moving direct we just need to take everything we have that's why governments also have no stop unlimited they have nothing to lose already the national debt is not going to pay ever this is all about taking risk and trying to compete with the crypto revolution and this is bubble on bubble on bubble this is a theft beneath your face taking your own saving account your pension all the things that you were working and sweating for you think that you are trusting in government we saw already how it's already um <laughs> abusing our power with a lie that is in order to protect humanity but astrology is telling the entire story that we cannot deny so my friends where to go where to go i even thinking about it because i'm introduced by gemini uh, by mercury okay as a gemini man also virgo people and virgo people even more because virgo is represented by chiron and by mercury so see the virgo people and ask them how they feel those days okay they are representing here a shift and priority and a reset button this is the the, the maria the <laughs> the santa maria virgin the, the virgin is sky and mercury is meeting pluto the devil in a way that is a moment of transformation of a cocoon after work 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 you are entering to a grave in order something should destroy in a way from the routine we had of eating grain and more grain and more portfolio and more this and after a phase of the cocoon, we are going to become a butterfly. 
maybe a huge butterfly. And Jupiter meeting Chiron is something in the world or the pain in the world and it's in Aries. Is about reaching new horizons that are beyond the dust, beyond the, the, the pain and the death. Is like a new civilization under the, under the surface, I would guess. This is like the, the revive of the death in a way. Uh, yeah, now there are relatively quick transits. It's all happening already in the next two months and together with Saturn and Pluto changing signs. So it's a worldwide event, my friends. So I feel weird. I'm already, I'm ascendant Sagittarius. So I feel this both like the Virgo people. I feel the Jupiter that is meeting Chiron and because my ascendant is Sagittarius. And I feel the Mercury that is ready to meet with Pluto in the last time in Capricorn because I'm, Mer I'm Gemini. And I feel already safe and in better position after many years in my life. And all what I've passed in the last 14 years of Pluto and Capricorn, and the need for losing it all, to come back to stand on my legs in a powerful way, and to shine out there. We are having tomorrow a full moon in Leo. It's all about shining our power, despite whatever to happen. And yeah, I will. I, these are some things that I, I will not be able to share right now uh, with how I'm planning something in my life and I'm still cocooning this. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to participate in a very significant ceremony that is very much related to uh, Mercury and Pluto. And for sure, to all the rest planets and together with the full moon of Virgo, a uh, uh, full moon in Leo, it's a very, very significant. Um, even that we are all th afraid from death. Oh my goodness, oh, uh, this is this what we need now. To go into the fire like, okay, so I'm dying, but nothing is ending in life. This is what Pluto wants to teach us. The end of the zodiac is Pisces, not Scorpio. Scorpio just feels like death. It's like the moment of the first orgasm. You are thinking that you're going to die when <gasps> you transform to something else. It's a release. So this is the build-up timing now. So it's tensive. We are in Aquarius. This is a lot of neurological stress. This is all the neurological system ruled by Aquarius and the neurons in our brain that is about finding a brand new idea, new, new way of trade. So I don't know what sort of decision, what sort of surprise seems to happen in the markets, but for now, everything is going higher they made a decision and those in the live chart already seeing the potency of how s p is going and where bitcoin is going and yeah check the links below if you don't know what i was speaking now about and it's beyond the money now it's beyond the plan about how many dollars you have It's about how much access you have to technology and to people and to situation to give you direct resources and access is about access. Jupiter is ready this year already to meet with the North Node in Taurus and Taurus is ruled by Venus. So we are ending the a generational karma of Venus about relationship and about money. So many of us from the 70s and 80s are ready to meet soulmates or not in a regular way of marriage, me and you until ever, but of the community and the friends and the agreement and the fair society to build. So be surprised, be agree to be flexible as possible, to be surprised because in Aquarius, everything can happen and the right person to appear in the right time and suddenly your life going to a new melody. I leave you with this. If you want to enjoy from more videos, consider to join Patreon. This is a spontaneous video that I like to do from time to time to speak with you all. And connect with our Instagram um, a group, uh, not Instagram as well, but also Telegram, where I'm sharing on a daily basis, breaking news, ideas, thoughts, like a general community.
okay? To members in Patreon, we have extra rooms that is about crypto, about commodities, and more inner information. Until the next, hold tight, be excited. This is a shift of energies now. Nothing stable, but enjoy the movement. Bye.